In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good evening, everyone. We gather together at the end of the day. We place Christ into the center of our lives, trusting in his love and his mercy. reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. Today's Gospel ends with Jesus saying, so be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. This is a high calling. And it is clear that part of the perfection to which you are called requires a generous and total love, even for those you may consider your enemies and those who persecute you. When faced with this high calling, one immediate reaction could be that of discouragement. When faced with such a challenging command, it is understandable that you may feel incapable of such a love, especially when the hurt caused by another is ongoing but there is another reaction that is entirely possible and for one for which we should aim and that reaction is deep gratitude the gratitude we should allow ourselves to experience is on account of the fact that our lord wants us to share in his life of perfection and the fact that he commands us to live this life also tells us it is entirely possible what a gift what an honour it is to be invited by our Lord to love with his very heart and to love to the extent that he loves all people. The fact that we are all called to this level of love should result in our hearts giving deep thanks to our Lord. Reflect today upon this high calling of love and work to foster gratitude within your heart. The Lord wants to give you an incredible gift by loving all people with his heart, including those who tempt you to anger. Love them, see them as God's children, and allow God to draw you into the heights of perfection to which you are called. My most perfect Lord, I thank you for loving me despite my many sins. I thank you also for calling me to share in the depths of your love for others. Give me the eyes to see all the people as you see them, and to love them as you love them. I do love you, Lord. Help me to love you and others more. Jesus, I trust in you.
and we turn to God our Father in prayer. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that they will continue to form a people sacred to the Lord in a holy covenant of mutual loyalty and devotion. For peace in the world, and especially in the land where Jesus walked and taught the fulfilment of the Hebrew covenant in the perfect command of love. For our enemies, for our persecutors, for those who hold us in contempt, that we may release them from any bonds of resentment and bitterness and pray for their healing and happiness. For the sick, the elderly, the addicted, the imprisoned, the homeless and the refugees, and all who are in need of special prayer tonight. For our dear departed loved ones, that this holy sacrifice may make them perfect, even as the Father in his perfect, and enable them to enter the heavenly kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless everyone and may the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen.